If you are running a power wheels with a drill battery, you will need to use this setup. A lithium ion battery is not meant to be discharged 100%, meaning it needs to retain some of its power before being recharged. So what happens if you drain your battery until it's empty? Well, it can damage the battery and cause it to no longer work. If you could take a moment and hit the subscribe button, that will help you find my videos quicker in the future and it will help me grow my subscriber base. So how do we make sure the battery isn't discharged too much? We use this low voltage cutoff board. The voltage at which we want the battery to cut off at depends on the total voltage of the battery. For example, we want this 20 volt battery to cut off at 14 and a half volts. So we press and hold the button on the left and set it at 14 and a half. Now we need to set the reconnect rate, which can be set at one volt under the total voltage. So for a 20 volt battery, we can set this at 19. But the way the board calculates the reconnect rate is by taking the low voltage cutoff, which we set at 14 and a half, plus the input that we're about to set. So we need to set the reconnect rate at four and a half volts because 14 and a half plus four and a half is 19. And this just means the board won't power back on until it receives at least 19 volts. I'll put the low voltage cutoff rate and the reconnect rates for other voltages in the description below. So now that we know how the board works, let's look at all the materials that we need. We have our 20 volt lithium ion battery, a four row terminal strip, a 24 volt relay, a fuse, 12 or 14 gauge wire, male and female blade connectors, and a spade or O-ring connector. One modification I want to point out is on the relay. It has two normal size blade connections that fit our female connection pieces, but there are three larger blades that are too big for our connectors. So I drilled a larger hole in the relay so that I could use a screw and metal backing from the terminal block to hold the screw into the relay. Side note, you will not need to use the middle blade labeled 87A. Let's connect everything and see how it works.
If you're a visual learner, here is the wiring diagram. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful as it will save your lithium ion batteries from discharging too much. You can help me grow my subscriber base by hitting the subscribe button and also help other viewers find this video by hitting the like button. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below.